lovely people. Oh, I thought I'd come on and do a video about the latest things that I've been doing. So um, here goes. Before I do that, I'll show you some of the things that I've made myself. This is uh, one of the latest ones I made, which is my uh, lion. And uh, here's another one, my Picasso. Okay, you might have seen that one half made or you might have seen that one before. And this one, which uh, I really love this because it's it's my mom. She's 103, would you believe? And uh, this is taken from a photograph of when she was just in her late teens, I think. So uh, that's mom. And uh, so what I've been teaching in school, and I've got a lovely group of children, two groups, in fact, one a lunchtime group, which is quite quick. And the other one is after school. And I've been teaching them. Uh, the, the older ones just for half an hour I have at lunchtime and I've been teaching them about how to make an eye and with so far we've got up to about here look these are just a center piece here with for the pupil and then going round and round for the eye it's similar to the one you can see in this picture here this is this this is on this is quite large and I put it in the hoop and the eye you just start with making chain and slip stitch and going round and round so this is what they've been doing here. But it is fairly, fairly tricky to get that like that. So I thought I'll try a different method. And instead of starting going round and round in the centre, I've made a hole in the middle. So we start this with a ring, just a short chain made into a, a, a ring there, tied with a, a reef knot so it doesn't come undone. And then going round the ring and hooking in to that red part there. So that's what we were doing today. And I've also been talking quite a lot about variegated yarn and, and you, you can make your colours change by just knotting them in it with a small knot like that, a reef knot. And that won't come undone because it's a reef knot. And uh, what you can do then is to uh, make your chains and it will change colour as you go round. So now we're going to be doing the white. And each time you can do as many as you want really, you don't want them too many, so you, you would do up to about six or seven or even a, little, a few more. Um, I'm going to join this on with a reef knot, which I'll come back. Okay, so to make your variegated yarn, you're going to use a reef knot, which is right over left and under, like that. It's just an overhand knot, and then you go left over right and under. Like that, and that would make a reef knot. You can see how it curves it around each colour. And we pull that tight and chop off the ends. And you can do this quite, chop the ends off quite close. Like that. So this is changing colour then. Let's put it back on. We've got a little bit of white, just happened to put that on. So we do that little bit of white. And now, so we've been around that red centre, hooking in as we go and choosing to do as many as you want in each little loop, that we call those bridges. So each bridge you can make as big as you want. And then when we come round again, let's make it a bit longer. And we come round again, you're going to hook under the bridge, yarn over, and you will have the bridge and a loop on your hook. There's the loop and there's the bridge, and pull those through. And that's a slip knot using the chain that you made previously on the bridge, using that chain under your busy finger. And then we're going to make a few, yeah, a few. I haven't counted them, I've just done a few, and then we're going to go under the next bridge, which is this one here. So hook under, put the loop and the bridge on your hook, yarn over and pull through both of those for your slip stitch. And carry on again. And we go all the way around like that, and you can you don't have to count, just do a few and then hook into the next, under the next bridge, like that, and carry on again. Okay, so this is what I was doing with my group. 
today. Hook under the bridge. Go again. And it makes like a very lacy open weave doing it like this. Hook under. I'll show you how it works out. And the girls who are 10 years old, 11, 10, 11 year olds, they manage this very well. This is what makes it easy for children to do. So there we go. Hooking under. And there we are. Okay, so you can see how open weave it is. And the centre, instead of it being tight like this, it's the same sort of... Uh, it's the same stitch, just chain and slip stitch, but it's much easier to see where you're going. And then I think next week we'll try this one and see again if they can do this one. So they can start making either a coaster or an eye. As you go round and round your circle, you might find it starts to curve up like this or even like this one. Look. It's, it's curving upwards instead of lying flat it's curving up that's just you're just learning how things curve basically so to make it flat you're going to have to increase the number of bridges around the outside and then hopefully it will lie flatter so okay don't forget to subscribe press the notification button so you know when i've put a video up and um comment i like to comment because i would like to get back to you and talk to you and i want to know if if you comment on a video i know you've watched it so that would me that that makes such a big difference to me so here's the little chick again not the other one but this one and this one is saying subscribe we're nearly at 600 at the moment and so that'd be fabulous okay bye